Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ebony. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Um, of course, my daughter is in the room. She's behind the camera. So if you do hear a little bit of noise, it's her. Um, today is the much awaited video of when I'm actually going to revert my hair. And I'm hoping that the sunlight will kind of cooperate with me. It's a rainy day, so it's not really much sunlight. So I'm trying to make it work because I don't want to turn on my lights because I just, I like natural lighting better. So um, I've got rubber bands here and I'm just going to try to take these out real quick. And I'm going to revert my hair first and then I'm going to like actually go ahead and shampoo and condition and all that stuff. So yeah. Oh. You guys, I actually trimmed my hair, but because I used terrible shears, like when I was trimming my hair, like the, when I was cutting it, the hair actually bent through the shears. That's how dull they were. I've had these shears for years. Like when I first got them, they were amazing. Um, and over the years, they've kind of dulled, and I really do need to get some new ones because literally the day after I trimmed my ends, I started getting split in. So it basically defeated the purpose, and I'm kind of pissed about that because, you know, I cut an inch off. And I kind of want to cut some more, but I'm just going to leave it. Um, I mean, the ends feel good, though. So for now, of course, because yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. And it's still long. I didn't cut, you know, much off. Just an inch. Um, like, I'm kind of not liking this whole lighting situation. Because it's not much lighting. But you guys can still see what I got going on. Okay. So yeah, this is like almost two weeks post keratin treatment. So yeah, Woo. my scalp is itching. But okay, let me just go ahead and give it a quick comb through. I do have clips and a towel here just because I know I'm gonna be dripping all over the place and I'm obviously in my room and not in the bathroom because I didn't feel like setting everything up, you know? <laughs> Cause sometimes YouTube just becomes like a whole big production, you know, you have to set up your lighting and put all your utensils out and everything. Oh, it's kind of cute. But yeah, I, I really didn't feel like doing all that today. I just wanted to sit down and just get it over with. Is my lighting going away? Like, am I really going to have to turn this? I don't want to have to turn my lights on, but it's kind of looking like I'm going to have to turn my lights on because I want you guys to be able to see my hair, the texture, and all that. So I will be right back after I put my lights on. Okay, y'all, I don't know what I was tripping about because my hair looks hella shiny in this light every day. You know, you know? <laughs> okay, so this is actually the first time I've hooked up my lights in like weeks. It's been a long time since I've actually put all my equipment up. Um, my daughter is currently brushing my hair, of course. Um, let me show you guys what it's looking like. See, I did say it was still long after the trim. And I, I really did need a trim. And I'm kind of glad that I did do it because my ends are looking so much better. But, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I'm going to use to revert my hair. Um, this Tresemme Keratin Smooth with Marula Oil. And I'm kind of glad that I had this on hand because I got the keratin treatment. So, yeah, it goes hand in hand. That's what's up. Um, and when you have a keratin treatment, you want to use sulfate-free um, shampoos and conditioners because you don't want those things to strip your hair. And I was just lining pull it here. <laughs> you don't want those things to strip your hair. So, um, you know, things with keratin, things that are sulfate-free, good. Plus, plus. Um, I have a spray bottle here with warm water, like the hottest that my sink would go. 
and I've got a couple clips just because I do believe I'll have to clip it up so I'm just gonna wrap my shoulders with this towel because I already know that I'm about to get wet um, where's my little clip okay and I think I'll just do it in I don't know am I gonna do it in halves maybe I'll do it in halves because I want you guys to see how this works. You guys, I hope, I hope I don't have any heat damage from using such high heat, and I hope that, you know, it does what it's supposed to. Hi, 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 hi. That's all I asked for. Okay, so I've got like this much conditioner, and I am, ooh, I'm just going to just start applying that all over. And I do the conditioner first. Um, I don't know, I've always done it that way. Um, not because of any particular reason, I don't think, but I like for the conditioner to go in first because I feel like it kind of clumps my curls. So if I put the water in, I feel like it frizzes before I can get a chance to clump them. Ow! See, see. <laughs> so if I put the conditioner first, this is my logic. If I put the conditioner first, you know, it gives my curls a chance to have a product in it and clump and it's less prone to frizz, hopefully. I'm gonna start spraying my hair and I know I probably should have did this in the bathroom where I have like actual running water but see I just wasn't about that life like I'm about that lazy life right now it was soft though Maybe I need to look in a mirror. I do see less frizz, but it could be because I haven't combed through it yet. Alani, give me my brush. Thank you. So let's see what we're working with here. Yeah, frizz, I see frizz. But I think it's minimized, like, Come through curls with just conditioner. Hmm. Huh. Ha ha ha. I don't know what to think, you guys. I really don't. Okay, I am seeing curls now. I think I just have to give it a little bit of time to revert and then judge it. So I will do the other half of my hair and I'll be right back <laughs> okay guys so these are my results and honestly I don't really see a difference um, you guys may say that it's a little bit flatter but my hair comes out like this anyway if I haven't like if I just wet it and I don't comb it it comes out like this anyway once I comb it oh yeah it's gonna puff up I already know that um, as you can see, I didn't get any heat damage from, um, flat ironing my hair that high. So, yeah. It didn't really do much. Yeah. Like, it feels as thick as ever. I, I just, yeah, it's as thick as ever. Let me see. I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see. No heat damage. Yeah. 
yeah so yeah I mean I kind of was expecting more because like I've seen other people do keratin treatment and it really makes a difference in their hair um, their curls come out a little bit looser it's a lot less frizzy um, easier to manage I still feel like mine is thick it's still frizzy um, yeah I don't really feel like it made that much of a difference like I really could have live without doing this treatment um, I'm not sure if I didn't put enough was that it because like I don't know like it, the instructions say that if there's some left on the comb then you're putting too much so when I was combing through I was making sure I was putting a teeny teeny tiny bit so that when I was combing through there was no um, residue and it didn't really tank on my hair so that's my experience with the keratin treatment um if you know of any keratin treatment that is a lot easier on their on the hair meaning i don't have to blow dry it as much um i don't have to do without putting conditioner on my hair something like that if you guys know of any um affordable keratin treatments that i could try just to kind of get the frizz down in my hair a little bit just let me know in the comments um i hope you guys enjoyed this video um you know watching me revert my hair and seeing the results i got from the ion keratin treatment um i'm just gonna go ahead and end the video out because i don't really have anything else to say about it so go ahead and like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video